So, hello and welcome to lesson 7 in our study of the Python programming language. So, we are still studying the basics, okay? So, in this lesson, we'll be talking about the input function, string concatenation, and the math model in Python. So, I'm going to kind of enough a final year student of mathematics, KNUST, and I'm going to take you through this lesson. So don't forget to like the video if it helps you and subscribe to the channel for more videos okay so the input function you know mostly when we are writing a program right we would want it to be in a way that the program can ask the user to make inputs and take those inputs from the user to do certain things okay so in python we have a function that helps us to do that and that is the input function Okay, so the input function in Python is a built-in function that is used to ask the user for an input. As simple as that. <laughs> so there's a syntax for it. So you type input, then you open parentheses and prompt. So the prompt is just a string representing a default message before the input. Okay, now we will explain that very well as we move along. So let's take an example. So you can see that with this first example, I have x equals input, enter your name, right? So just know that there is just an assignment, right? But there is the part of the code that we are interested in, the input, enter your name. So we type input, then enter your name. So enter your name here is the prompt. That will be the default message which will be displayed. So let the user know that the input I'm taking is your name, right? And this x here means when we take that input from the user, then we store it in a variable called what x. So it's just an assignment we've done, okay. And this represents another way in which we can use the input function, right? So print enter your name. So with this one, we are first printing enter your name in. So when it comes to our prompt, our prompt will be empty because we already have enter your name. Then we take the input and store it in a variable called x, okay. So let's work on our first project. So we are going to write a small program in Python which will ask the user for certain inputs. Alright. So we are just going to write a program in Python to add two numbers. So this is it here. Okay. Let me try coming. Let me try to increase my font size okay so this is a program to add two numbers in python okay so the first number all right is going to be equal to float input enter first number and that's what the first line means okay that means that we will have to get two numbers that we will add because we want to add a, we want to write a program we can add two numbers and we want to take those two numbers from the user okay so that's what this one does input then is a prompt it's also the user that you're supposed to enter the first number here but you know with the input when you use the input to take something from the user the default data type that it assigns to it is the string data type okay but you know we can't add two strings it will just concatenate it but we can see the result so that means before we can add the number we have to convert it to a data type which we can add so we can convert it to an integer or a floating point number right but we want to convert it to a float so that the addition will go beyond the set of integers okay so after that we store that in a variable called first number we do the same the same thing for second number right then the first number plus the second number we do that computation and we store that in a variable called what answer then we print that the sum of the two numbers is the answer all right so the command here adds the string and this floating number together okay so if you should save this file which i've already saved and run it you are going to get something like this so it says what enter first number right so maybe 67 
in second number 90 then it will tell me that some of the two numbers is 157 that's true right so let me run the file again so interface number 78.9 intersecting number 56.8 so it tells me that the sum of the two numbers is what 135.7 so we've been able to write a script in python to add two numbers i think we are growing some rings now we are doing well okay so you see with the code that we wrote if we should have changed this data type to the int data type okay that means that the only data type that it can take is integers so for instance if i change it to int and i should enter an integer it will work all right know that this is still a floating number so it was able to add it for us but you see with the first one i change it to an integer right so now if i should So if I should um, enter a decimal, let's say 78.9, I'm going to get an error because it's the in data type. Okay, so that was the first thing we did. We wrote a script to add two numbers in Python. Okay, so make sure you practice that. So the second project is that we are going to write a script in Python, which is going to let a user know the number of months he has lived depending on his age okay right and the code for doing that is seen is shown here all right but <clears throat> let me show you here so um there is it so you know the first line is just a comment right in python we write comments using what hash we've already learned that already okay so we go to print enter your name then name equals inputs all right so that means the person will input the name and it will be stored in what the variable called name know that the prompt is empty because we already displayed enter your name then this print here you know we are printing an empty string so it will just print a space it will help us leave a space in between the first input to the, and the second result which comes okay so this one is print so name how old are you then the person will enter the age right but you know as I told you, the input will see the age as a string. But we want to perform an operation on it. Before we do that, we have to convert it to an integer. Right? And you know, I'm converting it to an integer because I don't expect anyone to be 7.5 years. An age is always an integer. Right? So that's why I converted it to the in data type. Then the number of months you have lived will be your age times 12. Right? This is just an assumption here. Simple math. <laughs> It could be more than that though right okay then this is to print an empty line then we print name you have lived for months months right so the name will take the input the name you mentioned or you typed then it's a string which you just say you have lived for the next month here is this month here right the, va the value it had from computing eight times twelve then this is just a string which will be added to it months so we should run this program it'll tell you to enter your name so let me enter my name so random then to ask random how old are you so i'm six years <laughs> and it's all random you have lived for 72 months oh i'm very young right so yeah that's it something simple okay so that's something simple we just did so let's continue with our video so let's have some practice test on the input function you see which of the following includes the input parameters or argument of a function so what's the answer so i think the answer is parentheses and that's correct then question two says we have this x equals input enter your name all right then it's saying print hello plus x so when you should run this it is what is going to be 
the 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 output when the above code is run right so what is going to be it is it going to be a is it going to be b is it going to be c or d All right so you can practice that in your editor and you're going to know the answer so now let's continue with string concatenation so we are going to learn how to add two strings together in python okay so in python the plus operator is used for st putting strings together okay and we can also use the comma to do that and for the comma it doesn't matter whether it is two string if it's a string a complex type and um, an integer a flute it will concatenate them together okay so for instance you know i had name equals print of which is a string and age equals 20. but because you have um age to be an integer here before i can add the two strings together i have to convert the age to what a string right and i was able to add them together so you can see that it has concatenated randolph and 20 to so randolph 20 right so see it says note we use the string to convert the a to a string since it is an integer if not would have gotten an error since all data types should be strings before you can concatenate using the word plus operator so that's <coughs> so this and a second example here so you can see that i have range of i have age equals 20 right and the age is an integer the name is a string now when i did name plus age i had an error because see the type error says can only concatenate string not int right to string so you could see that the age is said it's an integer so i have to convert it to a string before i could use a plus sign to concatenate it okay so it says now let us do the same thing with comma so we can see the example there right okay so now let's go to the math model so the math model is a standard model in python that contains lots of functions for performing mathematical operations so to use the mathematical functions under this model you first have to import it using the syntax import math right so if you want to use it you go to import math now let's just see the list of functions in the math model right so this is a python code which is going to print the list of functions in the math model so we first have to import the math and we see everything is equal to so the dir is a keyword which means everything in math right and we print it and we get this so let me illustrate that here for you so these are all the things the function that we have in math you can see coach degrees exponent um pi pem log 2 log 10 gamma and square root turn and the rest okay all right so that means if you want to find the sign of a number and the rest you can use the math model for doing that okay so let's look at some useful functions in the math model and they are uses okay so the factorial of x retains the factorial of a number right the seal of x retains the smallest integer greater than or equal to x so we have them i expect you to read them okay so the exponent will retain this the log 2 will retain the square root of x will retain this and the rest degrees will do that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so radians will do this coach will do this and the rest okay gcd and the rest so um let's look at an illustration so if you want let's say find the square root of numbers we just go to import math then math dot sqrt right of 81 so if you tell us the square root of 81 is 9 okay you wanted to find the gcd greatest common device of 900 and 300 which is math dot gcd 900 300 it tells us it's 300 
Mad factorial of 4. The factorial of 4 is 24. The gamma of 5 is 24. So that's how we use the math model, right? And that's what we use to mostly make some of the mathematical computations that we have in Python. Okay. Also, I think that's the end of our video. So that's the end of our video. So, yeah, see you in the next video. In the next video, we'll be talking about um, conditional statements in Python, right? We'll be learning the if, elif, and the rest. Okay, so see you in the next video.